What's going on guys? Fun with Knives back again. Got a really exciting unboxing video for you guys today because this is my first ZT. Uh, if you guys watch the channel at all, I'm a huge Kershaw fan. I've been saying I've you know wanted a ZT for quite a while, so look what I got. Um, and if you recall, the Kershaw Knockout is my favorite knife. And I kind of think this knife blew it out of the water and I have not even carried it. I, I did take a look at it. Uh, so this is a box that comes in. Go Bold ZT. I mean, even the box is cool. Proudly overbuilt in USA. All USA everything on these ZTs. And then a real beast. That's like the... Oh, I can definitely test it out already. So what model is this? This is the ZT0220 designed by Jens Anzo. Um... If I had a Grail knife, guys, this is it. Uh, this is the knife that I look at the most. I mean, you know, us as knife nerds, we're always checking YouTube videos and going to Blade HQ to see if prices drop and, you know, looking all over for deals and uh, seeing what kind of steals we, li we like the most and what kind of brands we're looking at. And this is the knife that it it's all over my computer all the time. I I've always wanted this knife and I just got it. So... Uh, you do have your ZT paperwork in here. Uh, really cool black and blue box. And then you have your knife in this bubble wrap here. Alrighty, guys. Here we go. Oh, look at that titanium. So, guys, I was really unsure on this uh, orange backspacer, and I've already grown to love it. So, obviously, guys, I am a huge budget knife enthusiast. So, this is my most expensive knife at this very moment. Um... And I'll try not to rave about it too much, but guys, this has a whole lot of features that I'm I'm loving already. Uh, so I'll give you guys the specs, show you the action, give you my initial impressions. This action is unbelievable. I, I watch all sorts of YouTube videos on higher end knives that I can't afford or, you know, I haven't bought yet. I don't know where my knife collection is going to take me. And a lot of what they say, guys, is very true. Uh, this is writing on KVT ball bearings, and I have IKBS and all that, and the flipping action, the detent, is is so smooth on this knife that it literally blows all of my other knives out of the water. I have some good flippers. I have some very smooth knives, but not like this. So I'll show you guys this flipping action here. It's incredibly smooth. It's it's effortless. And, I mean, this thing it just wants to be closed. And then when it's open, obviously you have no blade play whatsoever. And I mean, this thing is so smooth. So that was my, my first impression of this knife, guys, is that there's no way this is going to stay in my pocket. Every chance that I get, I'm going to be whipping this out, hopefully not scaring anybody, but flipping it around. Because, yes, I know this is an overbuilt, extremely capable knife, uh, but it is a great just flipping around knife. So you do have a blade length of three and a half inches here, a handle length of 4.875, overall length of 8.375. Uh, your handle thickness is just over half an inch at 0.51. Your blade stock here on the back is 0.16, so just a tank of a blade. And then your weight is 6.24 ounces. So everything about this knife just screams capable. And it looks so good while doing it. I can't, there's no way you can argue any of my knives look as cool as this knife. And one thing that draw, you know, that kind of drew me to it is I love futuristic designs of knives. And I think with all this titanium, I'll give you some more close up here. The blue accent, the, the orange backspacer, it looks super futuristic to me in a sense that if you guys have seen the movie The Martian, his suit, uh, it, it's all orange with some silver and some blue. This knife looks like something the Martian would carry. I mean, it looks just like his suit with that bright orange, that that blue ZT badge, and this just kind of nice titanium. It, 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 lo it really looks like it belongs out in space. So uh, this blade steel is CPM S35VN. I love how this blade is sterile on this side as well. I think it looks really classy on your backside. You have the steel, Anzo design, model number, Kai USA, serial number there. So... S35VN, obviously a great steel, used on all sorts of customs, mid-techs. I mean, Chris Reeve uses it. I think he even helped develop it. It's an improvement on S30V, so you can't ask for, you know, a better steel in this one, really. You got a heavy stonewash all over it. I love the blade shape, 
just super ready to do some work and it looks really elegant. You got a slight recurve to it, making this thing an excellent slicer. Nice flat ground blade. So obviously guys, I haven't carried this. I haven't used it whatsoever. These are just kind of the things I'm liking about it so far. Action, uh, just unparalleled. No, like nothing I've ever seen before. Uh, your lockup, uh, full titanium frame lock here, hardened steel lock bar insert there. So you got steel on steel contact instead of your, your titanium on steel, which will give you a lock stick a lot of the time. Uh, you have a super early lockup. And if you see this little cut of my thumb, that was because this knife is so smooth that it literally just dropped right on my thumb. Uh, so this thing is, is just freaky smooth. You got a, some black pivot hardware, pretty cool. Your nice black ZT deep carry clip, reversible to your other side here. I love that clip. Really similar to the one on the knockout, my my old favorite knife. Uh, lanyard slot here in your orange aluminum backspacer. So guys, this thing weighs quite a bit. It is a long, just heavy, full titanium frame lock ball bearing flipper. And I'm in love. I don't know how I'm going to stay away from ZT now. So thanks for watching, guys. As always, uh, make sure to like and subscribe. I will be having a review on this knife coming up in the upcoming weeks or, or month, however long it takes me to really get a good feel of how I like this knife when I'm using it. Um, so far, the ergonomics are just so great. It doesn't even need any jimping because it, it fits your hands so well. Uh, reverse grip's awesome too. So guys, uh, I hope you guys are excited as I am because I have a ZT. In fact, I have two. If you guys watched my giveaway winner video, I alluded that I had two ZT. So I'll have a, an unboxing of that one coming up shortly. So thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Hope this brought you a little bit of enjoyment and information. And stay tuned for this review.